Hey, it's Cart Lemmy. I've uh, been working on collision detection in my NES homebrew, and I was coming across a problem. Well, not really a problem, but uh, the next step. Um, I have a. It detects uh, whether or not it's grounded by uh, checking the baseline pixel of the, sp the sprite and so it detects the ground and then it sets the y velocity to zero uh, and then so the next frame it doesn't detect the ground um, because it's 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 not uh, there's not enough y velocity to uh, push it down to the next pixel so what I did and this is was a kind of a quick and dirty solution and hopefully it won't introduce problems later let me know if I'm not thinking something through here um, what I did to fix the problem was I just added this if the, the character is grounded then um, we're adding one to the uh, to Y so uh, when I do that it seems to work pretty well and he doesn't do his little nervous twitch and see there he is also recently I implemented uh, the graphics that do the uh, turnaround graphics so if he's going one way and then you press the other way he, he slides a little bit probably needs a little tweaking look just right but so I have some collision detection with blocks now so that was a that was a tricky thing to do and I kind of have the slopes working he goes down them okay but if you run too fast he flies off of them that's why I gotta uh, which is actually kind of technically correct for physics wise to kind of bounce and fly off of them but um, he will go right through there if I don't detect it so I gotta I gotta make it detect the block below the slope as well so he'll transverse up the hill but uh, one last thing um, found it useful to uh, well, when I'm about to write something kind of complex in assembly language, uh, to me, assembly language is very abstract. So, I mean, it's kind of an art form of a sort, really. So, there's so many ways to get the same result, but, uh, you know, some more efficient than others. But, anyhow, uh, I'm, I've noticed that uh, it helps me if I. I write it out in a kind of C-like format and uh, you know, kind of plan it out that way because to me it's much easier to uh, much easier to uh, you know think it through by by using a, a more high-level language than I'm used to, and then I just take the functionality of that and convert it to a some language, and uh, it seems to work pretty good for me. Um, also something kind of weird that I did is for my slopes I uh, I used a bit mask to calculate the slope so um, you know using these different uh, you know this uh, see XOR 15 is, is to uh, flips it horizontally and so there's no either side of the slope uh, shifting it uh, to the right once uh, makes the slope uh, less steep, so that's the every two pixel slope. And boring it by eight is, is in essence adding eight to it. So uh, on the slopes that are uh, the less steep slopes, they actually take up two different blocks. So you need two different slope uh, information for, uh, for each of those. So. Um, cool thing about that is it takes up a lot less memory 
but I'm not sure if the extra processor speed waste is worth it, so um, we'll find out. So I guess that's it for now. I'll probably add another quick update video when I get the collision de detection working entirely. Um, it's definitely not done as it is right now. Bye!